So today we want to, we now want to talk about database. So what database are we going to be using? We are going to be using MySQL. However, if you are developing an application and you are going to be testing uh, the data uh, storage uh, frequently during your development process, you need an in-memory database because that is kind of very fast. So you don't want to be connecting to MySQL and um, fetching data and updating data in the development process. So that's why we need a two in-memory database to work uh, as, as part of the development process. So to do that, we need to do two things. First, we need to uh, set up the, the configuration in our application, the properties file, okay? So to get the configuration to use here, uh, normally I forget the actual configuration. So if you go to Google and type H2 hey database, kind son, put my name at the end, it takes you to this place and simply open up any of them uh, that comes out and simply scroll down and you have this, uh, this right here for you. So I'm going to copy it and go back to our application and simply paste it here. So this is the configuration for H2 in-memory database. I really don't know why this one is marked here. Uh, okay, so I don't know. So I'm going to just replace it like this, okay. Um, then the database name, I'm going to call it Fleets DB. So that's the database name. So at this point, we also need to do one more thing. We need to add the H2 dependency in our pom.xml. Uh, so for now, we don't have the H2 dependency here. So if you go to either my website or if you can go to the Spring, uh, the Spring, the, the, the MVN repository here. So here you can look for H2 database, H2 database. Okay. Uh, so it should be this one. So if I open up this one and let me check here. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy it from my clipboard, but actually I should have it in my website. So it's basically, uh, let's just go back here. So the dependency is almost the same, we copied, and this is the dependency right here. So it says Commodore H2 database, and artifact ID is H2 and the scope is runtime. That is all you need to do. So now we've set up the H2 in-memory database that we're going to be using to work. And at this point, I'm going to save everything. And let's run this application and try to access the H2 uh, database console. So I'm going to run this application at this point. Okay, so we have uh, the driver field. Let me see. Okay, so I think we need to refresh. So I'm going to go here, right click on this place and simply go to Maven and reload the project. So I'm going to rerun one more time. So once you reload the project, it's going to simply download the dependencies. So I think now it should work without problems. So it works and Tomcat started. So what I want us to do is to access the H2 console. So if I go to H2, uh, actually, you can go, go back here and instead of index, simply go to H2 console and there we go. So we have the H2 console and we have the fleet DB. So I'm going to simply click on connect and it connects and you can see now that we have all the tables specified right here. You can see right here. So this is how to set up the H2 in-memory database and I hope it's very clear and if this has been informative for you, please subscribe to my channel and in the next part, we are now going to be working on setting up uh, the MySQL database as well. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please leave me a comment to let me know if this has been informative for you. If you have challenges, also leave me a comment as well to let me know. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and we'll see you in the next part.